Once a girl knows she has you, it's over and you'll never have her. When I heard you say this in your video, at first I was like, that's not true. But then when you explain it, I'm like, that is so true. And it all has to do with a bit of psychology that was discovered about how women fall in love. And what this psychology found is that it all comes down to one thing. And when you do this one thing right, a girl is practically programmed to chase you. She can't help it. And I'm a huge psychology nerd, and I can totally see how this would work on a girl. And she'll think it's her idea to fall for you, and it's kind of sneaky, but in the end, you're giving her what she really wants. I think a big problem for guys is that women are very confusing. Sorry, but you are, you know, we think we're doing everything right. And then a girl says, I don't feel it or let's just be friends. And for guys, it's frustrating. Guys will then say that women just like jerks or whatever, but women don't want jerks. You definitely don't want to be a jerk or pretend to be someone you're not. Everything changed for me when I realized that women have this romantic fantasy in their head. It's the same fantasy that is in almost every romance novel that a woman reads. It's the fantasy where she's slowly winning the guy over. I could totally see how this would work. Especially when a guy is not her normal type or older or just doesn't have the usual traits she goes for. Because it's like, why am I thinking about him so much? Why am I trying so hard to get him to like me? Wait a minute. Do I like him? Yeah, that's what a lot of guys find, that it's even easier to do this when you're not her type or you're older than the guys that she normally goes for. You talk a lot about romance novels, and you're right. A romance novel is never the nice guy confessing his feelings right away or sending her flowers. It's the build-up and the mystery and just like you explain how to create in your video. What do you think of the video? What's true, what's that's, not true? Uh, that's real good, man. I think, I think the chase, right? So, so whether you're single, dating, and marriage, I think it. I think that that uh, that fact is um, is in our biology, right? Um, because like we we all we're either we're either chasing, you know, we're we're chasing the prize, or we're settling for uh, a, a lump of you know shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so I think yeah, yeah. When, when you when you right when you chase that prize, right? And then uh, that chase stops, right? And, and this probably happens a lot during marriage, right? You know, in the dating phase and in the single phase, you know, you you, you think they're a catch, and then and then, you know, in the dating phase, you're still still they're still chasing each other, right? You know, uh, they're still pursuing each other. And then when you get married mentally, right? People turn off. You know, they start bumming, they start you know gaining you know weight, they start you know not dressing up, taking care of themselves, right? Stuff like that. They stop being ambitious in their careers and stuff like that. You know, all of all of that now is, is and then you know, and then now the prize that you were chasing is no longer a prize. It's some kind of, you know, bullshit and then divorce. Divorce happens, you know? So I think definitely uh even in my own marriage, right? Me and my wife, you know, it's it's always kind of been a constant you know, mental tug of war of, oh, she's better than me, and oh, he's better than me. I don't deserve them. I got to do better. So it's it's been that, and that's why I think um, that piece really speaks to me is that like we're 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 still attracted to each other. We're still kind of pushing each other, you know, in that way. So that's cool. Yeah, man. I think it's uh, the guy's job to chase for sure, um, and. That's why uh, women, they get a little bit easier because they don't have to chase. I think well, well, a woman's well, job well, is... Well, that's, that's, it's reciprocated though, Frankie. Like, like, like the dude has to work on himself so that way the chick chases him, right? And then the chick has to be a catch. That's why the dude is attracted in the first place. He's like, oh man, dude, she's a, she's a prize for sure, you know? But then if she, you know, and, and, if, and if they get married, right? And if she's no longer, you know, this hot, you know, chick or, or she's no longer this big catch, you know what I'm saying? Then it's just kind of like the, the passion dies eventually, you know, the sexual attraction. It's like last week, it's like a, a sexual, the sexual attraction is big, you know, and if you ain't taking care of yourself, ooh, I don't know, I'm just going to stick to jerking off, you know, <laughs> you know, so it's like that, you know, so, so, so if, if we fast forward into the relationship, right? Yeah. Let's say that, let's just say that, you know, they do fall in love and, you know, it's you know five years in and the guy to 
for the girl to attract the guy, for the guy to attract the girl more, if the guy draws in a lot of girls and the jealousy of her comes in, like, hey, no, I want to be that girl still. Yeah. Do you think that's a healthy relationship? Heck yeah, dude. Because he's a catch. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's not like he's it's not like he's doing something, right? It's not like he's being flirtatious. It's like other bitches are trying to you know fuck up their shit, you know? Because they rec- they even recognize that he's a catch. So so, but if he can you know if he controls himself and, and shit like that, and he ain't reciprocating that same kind of energy outwards, but just to her, then that's 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 definitely healthy. Yeah. How do you feel about um, the man having multiple women? And the women only have him. What do you mean? Like dating? Or, or like, like having multiple Like just like uh, dating, marriage, kind of like how um, the Hmong country was. Having multiple wives? Multiple wives. Yeah, multiple wives. And the woman just dedicated to him. It's in Muslim as well. But how do you feel about that? Well, if you can make it work, you make it work. <laughs> I don't know. Doc. So let me let me let me let me ask you this. Let's yeah. say that um, I just I'm just saying. I right? I'm just saying. Don't don't kill me. Don't kill me for this, uh, Baku. <laughs> uh, but let's say that she's like, hey, um, I'm totally cool with you having another another girl. Okay, I'm like Ty, dude. Another source of income. <laughs> Would you would you would you pursue that or would you No you not? I, I have no idea, man. Like like um because like I'm an emotional person, you know? Like 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 to give you know, to extend my energy to somebody else is exhausting, dude. Like even like that's why I like I cut off so many people uh in my life, you know. Um like like one time on, on Facebook friend like my, my Facebook friends were like maxed out at five five thousand, right? That that already yeah. that already was was emotionally draining for me, right? That's how much that's how much of an emotional or empath, right? Uh, that I am is that like that 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 bullshit occupied, you know, my 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 headspace, and then so like for for me to have a, a second wife, I I just don't see it working, just because it it'd be exhausting, and so I can't give a hundred to one, I can only give a hundred to one person, right? Um, so so th- that would just split my effort. To two people, if if I had a, a second wife. So what what would you do if um you know that uh, a, <clears throat> a what's your um tip for a, a couple that are comfortable are not really sexually active and they are kind of you know sick of each other kind of like everything kind of feels like a nag like what's what's your tip. Other than like, other than the five love language and the therapy, um, like, what's your way to go about it? If uh, uh, you you gotta try stuff, man. I, I think I think uh, in a struggling relationship, That's man, you, you you gotta just focus on being committed, um, working it out. Because like that's where that's where you grow as a person is is in a place of discomfort, of uh, in a place of massive discomfort, and you come out. On top yeah, of that, yeah. that's that's where you grow, you know. So so I would at least first try, you know, everything in your power to 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 overcome that piece, right? Because who's to say, right? If that's just something that happened in this relationship, and we break up, who's to say that that's not gonna happen in the next relationship? You're gonna give up again? What happens in the next relationship? That's why, I like like uh, divorce, like the statistics for divorce, right? If it happens once, it's more likely to happen twice, and if it happened twice. It's like almost damn near guaranteed to happen three times and then again and again and again, right? So, so it's, it's, it's a matter of having a, a mentality of being committed to the relationship and work towards uh, growing together uh, and then creating a legacy. I think, I think that's because if there's no future to look forward to in that person, then it's easier, then it makes sense to just give up on that person, right? Uh, or to give up on that relationship because there's no legacy there's no future, right? And if you have kids, right, you know, with that person, um, you know, there, there should be more of an incentive to stay together, right? Because you have kids. Uh, and then, and then, so you do everything in your power. And, and this is, right, so, so 
assuming that both people, you know, aren't just dickheads, right? Uh, and this isn't a abusive relationship. It's just people being people and, and just, you know, things are complicated, right? So, yeah, that's my answer. What do you, uh, what do you see in the toxic relationship? What's something that was, you say that, hey, maybe it's really time to go, like, draw the line? I think, um, I think, uh, every person, whether you're married, dating, single, right? You should always be, um, paying attention to other people's languages, right? How they talk to you, how they react to you, right? I think we mentioned this a few times. I think this is very important, right? Uh, when you're finding friends, you know, when you share good news, are they celebrating with you or are they trying to steal that from you, right? Uh, so especially in a relationship, right? Uh, a long-term relationship, you know, a spouse, right? Or even if you're already married, right? I think I think it's it's definitely, if, if you do share like um, deep, deep uh, emotions with that person, right? You should definitely bring it up and then see how they react to even that, right? If they're, if they're willing to work on how they talk, right? Um, I, I think that's that's going to be a good piece. Uh, what if they you. change and disrespect you even more when you open up to them? Uh, you just leave them, dude. <laughs> if but if you're married, right? Then therapy. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I think you yeah. just try everything and anything in your power to make it work and 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 this is why like the the dating phase is so important this is why even even before the dating phase i would even say is just work on you and then at the same time you make friends you meet people along the way and then you just kind of uh, filtering people out in and out right you know th this person you know celebrates me uh this person you know um, always trying to find any way to degrade me right weed them out and then and so you're 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 collecting people right um and then in the, in that group of collection right you, you you'll find your spouse maybe right so i think um instead of waiting till you get married and then find out what a dickhead they are and then you get divorced and then you know all that bullshit you know so